Oropharyngeal and nasopharyngeal airways are airway adjuncts that can be used as a temporary measure to help maintain patient airways that are currently obstructed or at risk of obstruction. Both are available in various sizes and it is important to choose the correct size before trying to insert them. Oropharyngeal airways are measured from the angle of the patient's jaw to the level of their incisors. Ensure you choose the correct size Goodell before using them. To insert the Goodell airway, introduce it into the patient's mouth with the end of the Goodell pointing up towards the roof of the patient's mouth. Once you advance the Goodell halfway, rotate it through 180 degrees and continue advancing until the plastic base is adjacent to the patient's teeth or until you meet resistance. In patients who do not tolerate an oropharyngeal airway, or in those who you are unable to use one, you may wish to consider a nasopharyngeal airway instead. Make sure you have the correct size nasopharyngeal airway before you try to insert it. A correctly sized nasopharyngeal airway will fit nicely between the tragus of the patient's ear and the tip of their nose. Once you have selected the right size nasopharyngeal airway, ensure you apply a water-based lubricant before insertion to ease its passage into the nostril. Stand at the head of the bed, holding the MP airway like a pencil, with the bevel pointing towards the septum of the nose. Insert it into the patient's right nostril, as this is often larger than their left. When inserting it, advance it straight back as if you were aiming for your right knee. A small twisting action may help ease the nasopharyngeal airway into the nostril. Advance it up to the plastic base or until you meet resistance. However, be careful when using nasopharyngeal airways as they can cause large and difficult to control epistaxis. If this does happen, don't remove the nasopharyngeal airway. Leave it in situ, as this will help to tamponade the bleeding, and you will also be able to suction down the MP airway. Nasopharyngeal airways should never be used in anyone you suspect of having a basal skull fracture.